<laughs> Neville, you fucking demented looking mongoose. Neville TV. Born Neville Peterson, born in Florida, moved to California. Who else do we know that's from California? It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months, never done before. Jake Paul, but is he just from Cali? Is he just a Cali boy? He's from Ohio, though. Ohio. Remember? I thought it was a loose end at first. I thought, just going off, what does Jake Paul and Neville have to do with each other? They're completely different. No. They're not. They have more in common than we thought. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. They're coming for me. Not only is Jake Paul also from California, he's also well known for his Disney Channel flow again. Maybe it was a TV channel that never watched when he was little Disney Channel. Maybe. Maybe there's more to it than that. I decided to go back onto his old Facebook profile, look at the name, Neville Peterson. An alias. Completely fake name. But why Peterson? It made no sense to me. So I did some research. I found Jordan Peterson. A Canadian clinical psychologist, an evil, evil man, possibly Neville's uncle. Two days ago, the National Post posted an article about Jordan Peterson talking about deep fakes and how we need to stop them now so we can understand what's real and what's fake. But do you know what I say? I say, do we even know what's real and fake now? How many things can we think about? How many things do we not know what's real or what's fake? The YouTube boxing matches, the YouTube algorithm, demonetization. Cursing, life itself, religion, global warming. <sighs> Jordan Peterson. He wrote a book in 2018 called The Twelve Rules of Life. Is it a coincidence that he made a book in 1999 just after Neville was born and made another book just after he disappeared? Nothing in between 1999 to 2018. Nothing. Just, just after he's born. And just after he disappears. It's not it's not a coincidence, okay? He made a book, The Twelve The Twelve Rules of Life, okay? When I thought of twelve, I instantly thought of Morse, because it's made out of two different symbols. They have the two and twelve, and you have the one because it's one language. So I thought Morse code, what is life in Morse code? It's dot dash dot 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 dash dot dot. What does this mean? If you get the Morse code, as you can see here, and you separate it, you end up with two faces and five spare dots. What do you have then? You have two faces, five spare dots, everything else in the middle, shove it all in zeros. You end up with a number, 2005. Random number? What, Neville was in primary school? Elementary school? What could that mean? Nothing. Well, that's, what, that's what you thought. That's what I thought too. That's what I thought. Then they started coming for me and I knew I was onto them. Now this is where it starts to get really tricky, you see. I used to be on Neville TV's YouTube Palominos. His featured channels on the side. I never knew what Palominos meant. I thought it was Spanish. Still might be, but I understand now it's long for pals. As soon as I figured this out, I knew it. I knew pal. What is pal in hexadecimal? Hexadecimal is a language that computers use. Just like Spanish is a language that Spanish people use. It, it was staring me right in the face the whole time. I never, oh, never saw it. Never, no, not once did I see it. Pal in hexadecimal is 50, 61, 60, 73. They're still numbers. 60 doesn't make sense to go in the middle. But what does 6C sound like? 6C, 7Cs, the 7Cs. What are the 7Cs of the world? We obviously have the Arctic, North Atlantic, South Atlantic, North Pacific, South Pacific, Indian, and Southern Oceans, all right? And one of those sticks out to me. Don't know which one it is, but one of them really sticks out. Once you have that, we just have that one, one C, one ocean is missing. If you get the hexadecimal, take all the significant values, so the five, the six, the seven, and the three. What do we get? We get 630. If we get the non-significant values and the one missing, see so we have a one, a one, and a zero. That's 110. 110 and 630 makes 740. What is 740 miles away from Ohio? Kelowna in Canada. What happens in Kelowna? We don't know. Or don't we? Don't we know? Maybe we do. Maybe that's where Neville is right now, or held captive, and he's waiting for us. You lot have been doing nothing. I'm back, and I'm trying to find him. We've got to do this together. 
Ah. So now you've seen all the evidence that I've gathered, I've got it all, it all makes perfect sense. So I have a question for you now. What happened in Kelowna in 2005 that has significance to Disney and spreads misinformation such as global warming and one of these oceans, it, we have the Norths and the Souths, more Souths, Indian, and we have Arctic, it's just, Arctic just sticks out. Well, it couldn't. Holy shit. I'm gonna need something stronger. I can't quite believe this. In 2005, a small group of developers in Kelowna, they produced and developed a game set by the Arctic Ocean spreading misinformation about global warming due to it involving icebergs, tipping icebergs. Later on, this same game was bought by Disney. Do you not see all these links? Everything, everything leads to this. It leads to this. What could that game be? That game could only be one thing. And that game must be Raid Shadow Legends. Start now for free.